dear colleague Alanis, who gave me roach, dear colleagues, my speech will be dedicated to a new approach. medicine that is um, um, hydrogen therapy and the perspective to use ozone and therapy together uh, as a combined therapy the um, introduction of the ozone therapy means to me uh, means a new uh, medical speciality in gas the the thing is that all the known gases, nitrogen, hydrogen, and so on, so they have huge range, huge range of pharmacological activity, not because of their chemical components. This can be obviously seen as, for example, of um, ozone. This is the spectral pharmacological activity of uh, as well as hydrogen and xenon. Oxidator, restorator, nerve gas, they have the same aspects. Why? One of the most spread uh, and understandable to everyone, and that's why the spread, the description is, is that all the gases are anti antioxidants but they are antioxidants in different ways for example ozone is an oxidant activates antioxidant system and shifts uh, this uh, cup low down so hydrogen by destructing radicals takes it up thus leading to a balance that what you get there what is balance balance is health if it helps it, it is good so this is a universal unique explication that all the gases are antioxidant it helps here it works here it creates perspectives for mutual application I will talk about hydrogen and um, ozone they will work in synergy why not so it wasn't taken into serious consideration as a therapeutic ag agent because it's it works on it acts active only at a temperature of 530 degrees when a mo the molecule spreads into m atoms and then they c interact with mm, oxygen it can create water it follows up with um, burnings and explosion so 430 p kilo calories there are no conditions like that in our body so the hydrogen kinetically inert so the thing is that with it is that there's no reaction in 2007 Japanese specialists have demon they, they demonstrated that there are two radicals peroxymetral they got droxyl radical that have high oxidative properties such high thermodynamic potential that they can oxidate hydrogen in room temperature in temperature of the body so what can be done with hydrogen it's not important it and it is inactivate as a radical so so these radicals are selectively sensitive to hydrogen as you can see on the graph, the activity of hydro peroxymetry and other radicals and active forms of oxygen. This they react 
not a good way because they are not unable to oxidate oxygen. It's a good thing because these radicals are useful. They work in an immune system and they are mediators of different reactions and including in information one. What is important is hydrogen with digestional gas comes up to 60%. So it's natural gas. There is plenty of it. Digestional gas is created in in our body like for in the amount of 10 up to 10 liters. Then it gets absorbed and you get only hydrogen. So that's what mm, the hydrogen is. It's an antioxidant specifically produced in evolution created by the body in order to inactivate these two very dangerous radicals because there are no peroxidase against it. They are so energetic that no catalyzer exists. So that, that's why hydrogen is considered to be a trap. It is produced in digestional and um, large digestional tract. It spreads in body very uh, fast, it, and you can perform rectal sulfation and in some minutes you will you will hear and detect the increased hydrogen level in your breath. We can say that hydrogen is a natural unique antioxidant. Why it is unique? Because it acts selectively uh, on radicals. How do we apply it? We apply in inhalation activities in low concentrations from 2 to 4 percent hydrogen air mixture which is inflammable is not dangerous it can be the procedure can be made in uh, during the day and night I think it we will make it popular this nasal device totally okay when you sleep so it doesn't inter interfere with your sleeping. For example, uh, even an old man feels great wearing the mask. And once he's awake, he doesn't feel anything. I have a wa my wife wearing the mask. Okay, let's back to the question. Saturation device. These devices are produced by our manufacturing plant. It consists 20 liters of water, oxygenized water. So once you drink it, it fills up the water. You can make uh, water with concentration of hydrogen four times bigger than normal. This, this is considered to be supersaturated water ozonated uh, solution which is pretty popular um, in, the, in the world it is very easy to apply you take a plastic bag you, you put pressure into it and it is totally sealed and sterile totally safe no intervention hydrogen uh, hydrogen into, gets into the back and that's it I will now talk about what is hydrogen how does it work there are many modes of, there are many papers to study on animals on rats and models the use of hydrogen this is a study made on human infusion of saturated uh, increases 
um, the area of the, I'm sorry decreases the area of uh, strokes in bone marrow. This is shown on the index data studies. The indexes of patient conditions, past strokes, the NIHCC uh, index, and as well as index function independence. Yes, it's with Bartle index. This is uh, traditional treatment. This is with the use of ozone, uh, hydrogen. I'm sorry. Uh, as you can see, drinking hydrogen water and plus L dope, which is used in Parkinson treatment, you can see that the average index here, the, in the progress index of such a large group from 0 to 4.5 sums up to 28. The patients that drank wa the hydrogen water, you, you see there is decrease I and mean, the diseases do not progress, it stays where they are. Uh, the data on uh, hydrogen water drinking for in for prof preventing diabetes and creating tolerance to glucose you see the failed tolerance according to the data and this is and the second graph shows mm, hydrogen water and insulin emission uh, water uh, hydrogen baths were proven to be successful this is an example of acute epidermis inflammation this is a clinical data and you cannot argue with it we have questions is it actually contagious dangerous to your body the use of hydrogen well let me tell you one thing we have data of tests on animals concentration uh, hydrogen concentration in iliac gut is 0 0.2 millimole per liter and liver 0 0.2 and the maximum concentration of uh, oxygen in water is one millimole. So th this, these things can be compared to one another. Our tissues have con hydrogen concentrations that are compatible with oxygen concentration if everything is, is if there is no dysbiosis and hydrogen products as per Italian data starts from zero zero six up to 29 milliliters per minute so it's 100 times bigger in, in some cases uh, hydrogen does not produce and use in this case exogenous hydrogen um, effects in a good way this is a natural gas mm, we cannot argue on toxicity of of it because uh, it is totally safe in we should talk about dosages that's what I'm really what's really important we don't have any uh, argues about that no issues um, hydro zero uh, the French company that uses hydrogen helium solution for 
technical diving, to dive into deep waters, even up to 500 meters using hydrogen, and the concentration of the hydrogen is up to 20 atmospheres, so a person breathes with hydrogen, and this technology is certified, has patent, and nothing happens to him. It is safe and natural gas, upper dosages, well, we cannot make up those. It's if if you were for example it's 20 kilograms so it's 0.2 percent as for pharmacological activity of hydrogen we have a, an issue here as i mentioned before the spectrum of physiological activity of hydro hydrogen therapy needs implementation an approbation of therapy. It is the process is going, for example, in Japan, Japan, uh, Czech Republic, and recently it's been performed in Russia. Uh, hydrogen therapy testing, thanks to Yuri Dmitrievich Beskin. Thank you very much. I hope Gnady Andreevich, uh, what, what, what Gnady Andreevich had started uh, years ago, now will be will show some results in hydrogen therapy development. Okay. The efficacy and effects in terms of pharmacological properties of um, ozone and hydrogen, they are so similar, so and they are so effective. If you anti if you talk about antioxidant if you want to agree on antioxidant com complex we can say that it is a base to start from but we also have xenon who can think inert gas can be an antioxidant researchers started to look for other analogs and they found up to genius one they are implemented in Russia in therapeutics and in anesthesia. It is considered to be another again. We tried to take a look whether hydrogen has aptogenous properties. That's why we use such a simple approach. Hypothalamus complex that regulates hormones balance in body. It has nucleus's interior that uh, regulates this hormone uh, processes. It has posterior anterior nucleus that create sympathetic system that fasten up heart beat. The other pair slows down your pulse when they operate together pulse varies and if we record 500 of such impulses we can study how do how do they vary we could see a picture on the screen cardio intervalogram of a of an old of a, of a young person and the other one is of an of an old person as you can see on the graph uh, the, and the old the older person doesn't seem to have uh, a faster one so as we could see, such indicators, a cardiac intervalogram, sensible for inhalations within three hours. This this was in drinking water, very sensible parameters in parasympathetic systems. Drinking hydrogen water, inhalation of hydrogen, we could see cord Dissolve dynamics. This is the I mean, yeah. This is a hormone. It is important. Mm. This is the procedure of infusion of physiological solution solutes. These are the solutes that are ozonated, very sensible to cortisol parameters. 
under influences, uh, the cortisol level is recorded and is stored in the memory in the me of the adaptation system for five, six months. But in hydrogen system, it's not like that. We have approach. We take a cell. Uh, our colleague from Levant told us he uses in on. Um, in, in his blood analyze, analysis the same approach yeah you could do that monocytes but the fills ozonophils in ozonotherapy this is the dynamics the the down graft balancing those parameters uh, we use it as a measure instrument in order to finish to complete uh, the course of treatment this is how hydrogen up uh, is up is functioning if you take simultaneously uh, ozone hydrogen ozone hydrogen ozone hydrogen in three such combinations um, it is enough to bring white blood cells into balance it means homeostasis system gets into balance because white blood integrates hormone and immune influences how do they do that using pericus or other methods they get balance if they get balance it means health this this is our this is the devices we use. This is the hydrogen bag. We apply four kilograms for four hours, and then you get the mixture of hydrogen water. This is an example of a device that has um, hydrogen bottle, 60 milliliters uh, a day. You get both. <laughs> This is ozone bouvet. You you can make super concentrated solute. You can breathe hydrogen. You can drink. Thank you very 